Hello everyone. This is the book you read yesterday for science, but I thought it would be nice if we could read it and you could actually see it in a much bigger format. So I'm going to read you this book today. Are you ready? This book is called Sending Messages with Light and Sound. So let's see. What are messages? Messages give us information. We send messages over a distance. There are many ways to send messages. We learn from messages. Look at this sign over here. What does it say? Construction ahead. And that's usually a sign that we would, we would see when we're driving. So if I see that sign, I would be like, oh, I better be careful because there's construction going on. Light and sound help us send messages. Sending messages with light. Big lights can send messages like this lighthouse. Have you seen in Miraflores that there is a lighthouse? Do you know what lighthouses are for? Lighthouses are usually by the beach and they have lights that go around and around at night. So if any boats or ships are getting close to land, they know that there is an island or rock or land there and they don't crash into the land. The elevator is going up. You see how the arrow is light, it, it's lit, and it's pointing up? That means that I know that it's going up, so the light is telling me. So can small lights. Traffic lights help drivers. Lights can tell people where to go. Should we stop or should we go if we see a red light? Hmm. Lights can warn of danger. Sending messages with sound. Loud sounds can send messages, like this bell. This bell could be telling us that there's, that there's a problem, an emergency. Maybe it could be an alarm. Maybe it's telling us that there's a ceremony starting. Quiet sounds send messages too. Like in class when I say, shh. An alarm clock rings. It's time to get up. A clock's ring is a message. We share news by talking. Your words make a message and your words make sound. We listen to the radio. We hear voices from far away and those sounds are telling us things. They're playing a song. They're letting us know about the news. Sirens warn people of danger. Sirens make a loud sound. Sending messages with light and sound. Some messages use both light and sound, like a TV or a video game. A train crossing has ringing bells and flashing lights. These lights and sounds mean a train is coming. Fire trucks have flashing lights. They have loud sirens too. The lights and sounds on this fire truck tell people to move away. Cell phones use both light and sound. All the apps and the things that you see on the screen they, there's, it's light and sound that we're looking at and that we're listening to. People can hear and see messages on cell phones. What messages can you send with light and sound? And let me tell you something. The video you're watching right now is using light to show you the different pictures and sound so you can hear me. 